Hey guys. So again, it's that time for it's that time for a video. Alright, let's get on to it. Okay. So um feeling really good, been working out real hard lately. Um and I'm gonna talk about the business later, but right now we're gonna talk about the principles and the basic concepts of blood sugar, blood sugar dysregulation, how to keto adapt, and what the hell is ketosis? How do you get into it? What the what the heck is the point? Wink. What's the point of it? Why do it? How do you struggle with it and how you break through it? So here we go. I get so pumped because I'm so excited to share this incredible knowledge. So I've learned a lot of things. Okay, so basically, you know, people think that the ketogenic diet is similar to the Atkins diet in some aspects it is, and I guess the new Atkins diet is trying to uh, adopt those ketogenic principles, but let's really get into the primal language of it. So when we were hunter-gatherers, as I say, we were hunting, uh, we hunted, and we ate the, ate the, the brain, the eyeballs, the tongue, the kidney, the heart, the liver, the organ meats before we would actually take uh, the muscle meat because there's less vitamins and minerals in the muscle. There's a, there's a great protein pro profile, but there's fabulous. Let's say if you take a liver, there's fabulous chock filled, oh, of vitamins and minerals, even vitamin C and leva. Yes, in the old liver. Okay, here we go. So basically, um, the whole point to do the ketogenic diet is not to lose weight. Like, it is, but it is not. If you're like doing it as a diet protocol, forget about it. Forget about it. I'm like so done with people running as this, as a weight loss trend. No, you guys need to get your health in order. It's way beyond weight. You're deficient in vitamins. Your thyroid is, is taxed. Your adrenals are taxed. Your sex hormones are downregulated. Your cells, your liver is freaked out, yeah? Your muscles are, are, um, are atrophied and your growth hormone is down. Your sleep is crapple. The food you're eating is down-regulating the quality of your DNA. That's what you should be thinking about. Who gives a freaking flying poop a rooney about weight loss? It's just fat. You can't grow another arm if you lose it. So you can get rid of fat. It might be an incredible journey and arduous and, and very difficult, but you can get rid of fat. So don't come to me if you want to lose weight. Is that, if that's your primary reason, because the reason why you're overweight is because your body systems are wickety, freaking, they're whacked out. And that's what we need to fix. And if that gets fixed, then you can lose the weight. You got depression, you have libido, low, you have um, infertility going on, you've got diabetes, you've got heart disease, your kid's got ADD, you've got celiac disease, weak gluten, you got one of these darn things, you got cavities in your mouth and you can't see properly. Okay? You got tonsillitis, you got this, you got that. That's the reason why you would even try a ketogenic protocol. Other than that, if you're coming straight to because you want to get all ripped up and you want the business, business ain't going to happen, honey. Mm -mm. And the reason why the business is not going to happen is because you're focused on that. And people who focus on weight loss don't lose weight. They destroy, they keep destroying their bodies because they downregulate their um, the amounts of food that they're eating in hopes to draw uh, to lose weight when in actuality they're just really ripping their their systems which I just explained all these systems your thyroid your heart your your uh, kidneys your liver your cells your everything your hormones your hormones yeah hormones those things are the whoa they're so amazing they can screw up so those are the things that you want to focus on uh, yeah. Those are the things that you want to focus on. Then when you focus and you balance all those lovely, fantastic systems, then you drop body fat. It's a no-brainer, right? You do. You will 100% 
drop unnecessary body fat when you get your fitness in order because I'm working on my fitness. Get your fitness in order and you get this in order and you get this in order. Get your stress levels down. You get those things in order, then you'll lose weight. So let's hop on to it. So people try the ketogenic diet. They're like, they just, they try it on their own, right? They strip out the carbs and they try to go as low as possible. And then they read that protein too high, high, high protein is anti-ketogenic. And so they try to drive that down and then they try to up their fats. And then they're like, okay, yeah, okay, wait, last. <laughs> and, and what's actually happening is that they're dragging. They feel like absolute co <laughs> They feel like sweaty yeasty balls. I don't know, I don't have them, so I don't know. But they don't feel well. They feel kind of terrible. And a lot of them go through the keto flu, and some people never actually get out of it because they keep producing stress. You have to think, if you're not adapting, you've got a whole life of damaging your metabolism that now the body today has to get through and work through. You, your, your system is clogged up, and you have to unclog the system for ketogenesis to work, period. I do not care if you have your macronutrients, your proteins, your fats, and your carbohydrates in the right order, and if you're eating organic this. that Those are great, don't get me wrong, that's a huge part of it. That's a massive, massive, hi guys. That's a massive, massive part, sorry, I'm such a nerd. That's a massive part of your your adaptation, your process of trying to, as I say, cross that bridge over into getting your brain to understand ketones, which are units of fat. We are a glucose dependent society. And I, uh, hold on, wait one minute. I gotta show you guys. Wait one second. Oh my gosh, wait. Just hold on. Check this out, right? This is so darn fascinating. I don't know, I'm, I'm so completely fixated on this. That's how much glucose that your body can handle before you start uh, secreting both amounts of insulin to get rid of this out of the blood. Yes. Why is that? Because fruits and vegetables grew cyclically in season, not all year long. And when they did grow, they were bitter when they had low levels of sugar so and all the fiber. So the rate at which that food would hit your blood would be a lot slower of a process and about that much. We can handle that much. After that, glucose starts to be secreted. Well, sorry, my bad. Insulin starts to be secreted from the pancreas. And its job is to get the sugar out of the blood and deliver it. Now, we want it to be delivered to the muscle. Yeah, where are we? Where are we? Okay. I gotta, I gotta keep rolling because this stuff is just going by so fast. We want it to be uh, delivered to the muscle, to our liver, to um, give us energy, make us feel fantastic. Yeah? Okay. Whew. Well, that would happen, uh, you know, a couple times a year. Other than that, we could use ketones. Ketones are slow and even burning, right? Like when you put paper onto a fireplace, as Nora Gigaudis says, look her up, she's fantastic. Fantastic, Nora. Uh, anyway, you put uh, paper onto a fireplace and, or a wood stove, and it burns real high real fast, and then you gotta put another piece of paper in there, because that is not going to heat a house, right? One paper, you gotta be like, oh, pff, pff. then another one, pff. what is that? That's our metabolism burning out real fast, and then you gotta put another piece in, and every time things burn real high, and then burn out, your system becomes taxed, it's not, it's supposed to be even, Stephen, right? Real chill. Your cells, your body, your systems, your hormones need to know what to do. And when you overtax it in that fight or flight reaction, like, oh my God, bring real fast from a lion. You downregulate your systems, your body's metabolism slows down, your body's in a chronic state of stress because our primal bodies think that stress equates famine, bacteria, infection, um, running from a lion or fighting someone. That's it. It's not about cell phones and, and bills and TV and overtraining or undertraining or eating garbage food and all these uh, environmental toxins, that becomes a new stress to the modern human. But yes, 
we as modern humans are still primal in our bodies exactly the same as 100,000 years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot, I cannot when I do these videos be calm and be all serious. It's just not me. It feels so dorky to even do these videos. Like, I feel like this is the weirdest. I'm talking to myself right now, but really I'm talking to a lot of you. And I'll be like, so here we have the graph on the background that I should be a very professional woman at 46. But I just can't because it's like the dork in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I know everyone right now is like, get back to the science. Okay, so basically, there are, the, you know, your body's become down-regulated. You're, you're, you really would like to deliver your glucose, the, that, ooh, hello, this much, a couple of these, a few times a day, into the muscle, so it turns into glycogen, and is, is contracted and used as energy, and the same thing with the liver to feed your fledgling brain. That's fantastic. That is doable. And that would be sort of what the paleo diet is trying to get people to understand that if you're eating around 150 carbs a day and you're eating uh, fibrous, um, slow-burning carbohydrates, then you're going to get that nice little tiny supply, but with fats, uh -huh, um, you're going to get enough glucose that your brain can handle to stay glucose dependent without the crashes and without overtaxing your body and creating a shortened DNA, age, and inflammatory diseases, and there's a whole host of them. So, but, a lot of people are so damaged that they're ready to cross that bridge, bink, over to ketosis land, which is a fantastic land to be on. I personally make that choice, y'all, to stay and not refeed. For the athletes out there, or for the young guys, because I get some young guys watching these videos, they're like, Dude, man, I do cyclic ketosis, and I do backloading, and I do carb ups. And I'm like, that's friggin' awesome. Go over there to do it. This right here is ketosis land, so if you want to learn more, then pay attention. You don't like it? Okay, guys, so here we go. Um, now, there's things that we're deficient in. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so we're deficient in... Uh, here's things like people are like having sugar cravings. The reason why you're having sugar cravings is because your body's addicted to glucose or maybe you become insulin resistant, which means that you have too high levels of, of, um, of, uh, blood sugar and now your insulin is not doing a very good job. So that's a problem. Then we have people who just produce too much insulin and then we have people who have too low blood sugar. These are people are hypoglycemic. All of these different conditions of blood sugar dysregulation tax and freak out your hormones, uh, thyroid glands, things like coffee, things like bacteria, mold, toxins in foods. Um, all these things can, can exasperate and make these symptoms worse. So you're tired all the time. You're tired, which then affects your reproductive system, which downregulates guys, testosterone and women, because I'm reading so much about testosterone in women and libido, we need enough testosterone we produce in our ovaries and in our adrenal system. So if your adrenal glands are taxed, your testosterone is going to go down, women, and your libido is going to go down. Men, it's already a no-brainer. So I, I keto coach, I talk to so many men, and right away they start hitting 38, and they're like, yo, like the, the, the testosterone is going down, and they may not realize that they've got low D3, but that's another subject in another video. We're going to talk about blood sugar dysregulation, how to keto adapt. You guys, it's all about potassium. Potassium is not only just an electrolyte that keeps a, keeps a balance between cells, but it also curbs your blood sugar dysregulation in the context of taking a blood glucose and putting it in places that it can be stored, right? Now, blood glucose converts into fat in your fat cells, but it's stored in your muscle and liver as energy. And this is what we want. When you are craving sugar, it's because your body doesn't have, it's not a, it doesn't know how to balance its blood sugars. You're either high or you're low. Well, obviously I'm trying to drive ketogenesis, so you would be not dependent on sugar whatsoever and your whole body would heal. But if you're not healing because you're producing too much cortisol and you're too impatient, you're jumping on the scale, then you might want to graduate yourself into the land of ketosis to ultimately heal. That's another video. 
Potassium is going to be the mineral 